How does the continuity principle affect new presidents? That's all right. That's a good crate. That's a great question. All right. All of the above. All right. An attempt to win election supports affect new presidents trapped by agreements made by our previous presidents and strong political shift changes lead to system breakdowns are all factors of the continuity principle affecting new presidents. All right. So let's go ahead with the first one here. So an attempt to win election supports affect new presidents. Um, here we have uh, one president that uh, is running for presidency, right? And so at the moment, when we're in the middle of a Cold War with Russia, and you have President uh, Reagan that says, hey, look, listen, we're going to invest in, you know, our technology, uh, invest in our military forces and build the strongest military force the world has ever seen. All right, so that's an attempt to win election supports to gain democracy, uh, support, uh, to win a votation. All right, and this this all affects the new presidents. Right, remember we all, we're discussing here the continuity principle. Right, so um, you know when Ronald Reagan goes ahead and he makes these promises, you know. He's kind of continuing on from our previous president, right? Carter. Carter had already uh, had intentions of enhancing budgeting and, you know, enhancing our weaponry b before Reagan. You know, so that was already in place. So that's a continuity principle affecting new presidents. Now it says here, trapped by agreements here. So this is a good one. Trapped by agreements made by the previous president. Okay. Now, you know, let's say when one, when President Bush, 43, decided to go to war in Afghanistan and Iraq, right, uh, it was for a reason, okay, there was a purpose why we went in and infiltrated Afghanistan and Iraq, and uh, they were a weak state, they were corrupted, and their police force were corrupted, and they, you know, their civilians were poorly educated, okay, when President Obama attempted to, you know, he's, he went, he's running for president, he says, we're going to remove all of our troops from there. Yeah, he removed some of them, but he had to dispatch uh, them back because he understood fully the the factors of their weak state. All right. Now we have here a strong political shift change. Okay. So strong political shift changes lead to system breakdowns are all factors of the continuity principle affecting new presidents. All right. So it's 2019. All right. I'm going to give you a modern a modern situation, something that's currently happening at the moment. 2020, uh, we have what's called a quarantine shutdown. All right, so there is this virus. It's called COVID-19. Uh, it's untreatable. It's uncurable. Uh, our medical... Um, our medicine will say knowledge. It's not. It's not to the. It's not so advanced that we have a, a treatment or a cure for it, right? So the the government, you know, federal government, state governments, they have all agreed to quarantining its civilians, right? Everyone uh, has to stay indoors, six feet apart, wash their hands, remain sanitized, uh, socialing. It's kind of. Um, has to has to maintain a six feet distance from one another so if you go ahead and you meet with somebody you have to keep a six foot distance away from them um, a lot of socializing establishments such as clubs hotels casinos theme parks they've all been shut down um, because these are kind of a uh, high high percentage uh, areas where the infection the virus can spread easily Okay, and so at the moment we have a president. His name is President Donald Trump. Okay, he's a Republican. He authorized the quarantine. Uh, a lot of small businesses have gone out of business because they weren't ready for the shutdown. Um, uh, employment rate has, you know, it's high at the moment because of the shutdown. A lot of people. Once again, casinos that worked in casinos, theme parks, restaurants, clubs, any type of social, uh, socialing establishment has kind of been shut down, and that's because they want to prevent the spread of this 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 disease. 
it's not only the United States that's taking a part of it, it's the entire world, okay? So Italy, uh, the, the entire Europe, Asia, um, Africa, everywhere. Everywhere in the entire world. Um, now, the continuity principle, right? What this quarantine has done at this moment is kind of set up an infrastructure of how the next president, right, when elected, right, how will uh, will act, right, will pass laws and things. He's going to pick up after this quarantine shutdown and all the factors that came with the shutdown, right? So that's a continuity principle there. 